Hello everybody and uh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here today to film um, a memory spread in my B6 inserts uh, from the week of the 3rd to the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 9th of June. Um, so uh, I'm using inserts that I've made myself, so using some A4 paper and I just need to draw out my schedule. It will going to be a classic uh, Monday to set Friday across the bottom and then two separate days for the weekend and then a little sidebar down here and some washi across the top. I'm going to be using this kit by Paper Chic Plans. Um, I've not used one of her kits before and it came with a load of lovely goodies. Um, so I'll just quickly flip through so you can see what we're kind of going to be working with. So these are the four boxes here. I love this artwork. This um, came out in the spring. There's a whole page of deco, which I'm going to try and remember. The bottom washi and the washi cut washi strips. Those are cut washi as well. Many Sunday, some checklists, flags, some icons, a weekend banner, and some teardrops. Half boxes, quarter boxes, some bill dues, habit trackers, etc. Headers and little things, and then the full high checklists. Well, full box checklists, I suppose. The full full box checklist. There we go. Um, with the squares. Um, yeah. I probably won't, I don't normally use those in my um, in my four boxes. Um, it also came with a sheet of date covers and date dots, as well as a big full box here as well. And then uh, the sampler came with my kit was actually linked with this, which is fabulous. So I've got some of these characters here, um, which are in the colours of um, the kits. Some deco, some glitter boxes and another weekend bannered, so I can pick which one I want. And then I also got the glitter headers as well, um, which are just beautiful summery pastel colours. Um, so yeah, so first things first, I need to draw out my um, squares. Um, so let me just grab my ruler. Oh gosh, which has got a load of wash on it. Fab. So, like I said, it's going to be a normal week, so I'm going to measure out my inches and then get to it. So there we are. So I'm going to just add the date dots to um, these date covers here. And I'm going to use them because I think they're super pretty. And um, I'm having to use my eyebrow um, kit tweezers because I've lost my beautiful gold, rose gold foil ones. So yeah, so these little squares here, I'm just going to pop them on here. So this is the first full week in June that I'm planning here. So 3rd to the 9th. And uh, it's quite an eventful week, actually. I've got lots of, like normally, you know, you might have seen if, in previous videos um i have like days where i just put a full box down because nothing exciting really happened um in this case i don't know if i'm actually going to use any full boxes for the for the monday to through friday because actually it was quite an eventful week and a productive week as well so um yeah it's going back over it going oh my gosh this is the week i did this um so yeah um, and as obviously I'll talk through it with you as well. Um, so yeah, so as I'm filming this, it's actually the middle of July. Um, and it's the last week of school. This coming up week and I'm really excited. I'm so tired. <laughs> like I'm flagging. And um, I know it's a, um, really quite ridiculous because... Um, you know, I had a two-week break at Easter, and I had a week's holiday in the beginning, good uh, beginning of June. But so much stuff happens during these last few weeks of school. Like it's it's quite insane. So like we've had assessments and stuff, and that's fine. And we you know getting them all marked and all that sort of stuff. And then 
coming into activity week and all of the stuff that goes on there and oh I was here there and everywhere and I haven't had a chance to plan really up for my upcoming week so like my bullet journal now is just literally just pen and paper I will show you um there'll be a oh well, you might have already seen actually um my previous week and um, when I was planning for this week um and so yeah oh no it's coming up paper no okay and um yeah it's just pen and paper raw bullet journaling which is actually really good I mean that's the beauty of it the way that I use it as well you don't have to be so set in stone about what actually you want to be planning you can you know be quite flexible in what you want to write down and things which I think is awesome which is what I love about bullet journaling so yeah so those are the date covers then. So we're going to go and put a full box down at the, at the top up here and then use the washi. Now the washi, I think it's quite a thin washi. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go grab some other washi strips to go through. Um, maybe just like a five mm actually. I might use this one. Yeah, I'm going to use this one. This is from the Pink Cream Co. Um, I used it in my June setup in my book journal and this peach with the peach of this flower here is just pretty and it's silver foil and I could see if I can bring in some more silver foil I'm not sure what I've got but oh, we can bring it in uh, so the full box then I'm going to use where did I put them see I love these big florals maybe we use those for Saturday and Sunday I feel like I should use the, one of these I'm probably not going to use these geometric shapes. I might use, might use this one. Yeah, because it'd be pretty. I can't remember whether I have to put this down. And then the washi. Okay. I like that. Okay, and then put the washi down. Make it to use a thin piece. I just love all these florals. I just love them. And then line this one up. With... Oh yeah, that looks fab. Ah. That looks really pretty. I'm going to just use my... that to knife just to oh, it and you can cut break that off I'm probably going to do it at the top here so I'll bring make sure I bring in some more of this washi throughout my spread Whoa. I hope the lighting's better this week um I got some comments about it was very blue um in my previous one and I'm hoping it's a little bit. I use natural light and it's quite diffuse today because it's a bit cloudy. So hopefully it's okay. Um, okay, so washi done. Let's move into the day by day. I've got my little list of things from this is the market list from um, Simply Gilded Box that I've just got all my little notes on. And we can get going into the day by day. So I've zoomed in, so hopefully it's easier to see what's going on. Although it might be. Oh, that feels weird. Okay. I'm just going to leave that. So, first thing on Monday, um, I was not feeling very well. So, if you may know, um, I don't know. Yeah, I wasn't feeling great on this uh, this weekend. And um, it was just the same um, um, on Monday. So, I was coughing and spluttering and stuff. And it wasn't very nice. Oh, my really. I don't know what's doing this. Because I'm not moving my camera. Okay, if it gets too seasick, you see. I'll have to stop doing it. I don't know what's moving my camera. Is it when I'm on the desk? Like, I don't know. Okay, I'm going to carry on. So I had um, a massive coughing fit um, in the middle of briefing. It was not fun. Um, so... I'm going to use a half box and two quarter boxes. Okay. 
maybe some little I'm trying to, sorry I'm trying to work out all my boxes and stuff I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some washi just to mark the coughing fit as you do um yeah I was during briefing so I'm just looking at these icons here um, for a meeting there isn't really maybe I just use the asterisks so I had to step out of briefing because I was like I cannot just suddenly start spluttering <laughs> in the middle of this meeting while everybody is watching me um, so yeah I'm going to use this pen here which is from I want to say Planner Society, but I don't remember. Sorry, it's just a ballpoint pen. So, maybe I'll... No, actually. So I'm going to use this pen um, to write with. Um, this is um, a Stead Letter Tri Plus Fine Liner in like a lilac colour. It came in a pastels collection. Um, and it's nice because this is matte paper um, yeah. <clears throat> and then um, the big thing that happened this day um, so I was hmm I was I was tasked in watching a movie with my year ten, so my form class, and it was the um, the movie that based on the book that we were reading. So in form, we're reading um, a Night for a Knave, I think it's called Kite for a Knave. Sorry, and it's to do with um, this book. It was made into a film called Cares, and so we were going to watch Cares, um, but <laughs> our head of year gave us this really dodgy copy and so my I had a virus on my computer for the entire day so I could not use it and it was not good <laughs> they um people um they had to um sort out my laptop and basically they had it for the entire day so I was doing teaching without my laptop without my presentations without anything and yeah basically a little bit of a disaster so I've got this really cute icon there it's really tiny though. Eh. So, yeah. So I'm just going to write. So, virus from Kez. No laptop. Ooh. And then in the evening when I got home, I'm just going to use these little things. The little things, oh, they're all the same colour. So, yeah, that'd be interesting to work with. Um, I'm going to use a yellow. I don't want the yellow thing, though. Mm, I put a glitter header at the bottom. And then when I got home, I just watched YouTube. We just been together. I think me and Jack were watching something together. It was when we were watching Andy Schrock, whatever his name is, the skateboarding dad who does toy videos. Um, I don't think I want to use an icon for that because I watched it on my phone and it was watching YouTube. And I need film, so I want to use that later. So what I might just do is some deco. Because, if you may notice, I'm not great at using my deco. So, <laughs> it'd be kind of good to kind of use it. There we go. Oh, sorry. Um, so, yeah. So, that's all right. YouTube binge. And there we go. That was Monday. So well, most of my days are going to be like this. So yeah, this is exciting. Um, so first thing I want to mark in 
for Tuesday. I'm going to take a today header. Ah. Um, it was Eid. I'm going to use Deco again to mark that. I'm thinking of using some leaves. And maybe this, like, sample. I oh, know Deco, one of Deco looks. Yeah. <laughs> So the day was really quiet we didn't have that many kids in um as you could imagine and so we just um yeah the day kind of went as it as it did and then um it was more what i was doing in the evening so i'm gonna take a purple and this day um i did some fill work so i'm gonna use that really cute fill me sticker keep moving them around this one here <laughs> so cute um so i filmed when i got home and and then i played we played so i'm gonna need some washi And we just, um, yeah, me and my kids, we just hung out and played a bit. Heaven knows what we actually played. Can't remember. Here we go. Play with Jack and Maddie. Oh, hello, stray now. Okay, um, moving on to Wednesday then. So, we Wednesday. Um, the big news was I had to wear a coat, um, <laughs> which in June shouldn't really be happening, but it was freezing. I was on break duty. I was had to go outside and I had to wear a coat. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to mark that in my planner because I just kind of, it's kind of funny, really kind of funny and kind of sad. Um, yeah. Oh. So yeah, I wonder what if there's a like a cold icon. Probably not. Um, those chinking glasses, love that. Hmm, maybe not. Um, I don't know what to uh, to use. Hmm. Okay. Um, oh, what I really want is like a snowflake. Coat in June. <laughs> um, oh, I didn't bring my four stickers up. Ew. Anyway, I'll leave that. Um, <laughs> then the next thing, um, so... So I had to wear my coat of bright duty. The rest of the day was kind of fairly normal. And then um, it was Jack's um, parent watch at, at swimming. So it was like he didn't have swimming here on this Wednesday because it was half term. And so when he went back to swimming um, after half term, it was the parent watch. So we got to sit in. And was able to um, watch our kids, um, yeah, play in the water, like swim, uh, which was really lovely. So um, I'm going to put a full a half box here, I think. Um, we got to watch and you know go in. We weren't able to take our phones in or anything. We had to leave them. 
and um what do i want what do i want to market there is this there is this bathtub oh yeah which is actually quite funny but i'm not sure i can want to use that one um so it was exercise really was it i don't know such a tiny icon i need some of the swimming stickers i've said this before i have still have not ordered them um so it was parent watch Swimming. And then after that, um, we went hmm. We went and um went to Slimming World and yeah. I just realised my wash is gonna go straight there. I'm gonna put it on the bottom. I need to clear ahead of Because it's the same space. Just not right next to each other. That sometimes happens, guys. It's fine. Okay. And using yellow, yeah, got a header here. And yeah, I'm going to use the skinny label, I think. And pink. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. I just need to try and cam tape that. And I was hoping thinking there's a scale. There's no scale, but there is. <laughs> it's the junk food. Can't really use that for the world, really, can I? Or can I? Do we do any? Did we? No. Oh, we did. Yeah. Okay. So I've got. I've got to save that. Uh, I'm going to use the heart, I think. I'm going to use some deco. Lemon! It's speed poo food. Right, I'm going to just take this up. Oh, that heart's going to get ruined now. No. Ah! I'm going to use a lemon. It's one of the something smaller. Is it? This different. Oh yeah, and we went to Slim World. So Matt, uh, Jack came with me, and he had his tablet, but he had my headphones, so they're like the in-ear ones. And normally he wears like over-the-ear ones, and he was a bit. It was a bit. He wasn't enjoying them, and he kept trying to take them off and stuff, and it wasn't great. <sighs> well, we got there in the end. Okay, so Thursday. Thursday, I was totally inspired by watching Jack swim and I was like oh it would be lovely to do some swimming in the morning you know before school really get yourself pumped up for the day and so um, I text my mum and then I was like oh will, this, will the pool be open like I would need to do it at 6am so that I'd get time to get back home get the kids up get the kids sorted out and so then I could go to work and um, so I text my mum and I was like mum that's going for a walk so me and my mum actually have, um, we live really close to each other and there's a park in between um, between our houses where we live. So we met up in the park at six o'clock in the morning and went for a walk. So that was the big thing that I did. Um, so yeah, we went for um, a morning walk. It was super lovely. Like the like the weather was just lovely. It was crystal clear skies. It obviously you know I needed to wear a coat that day, so it wasn't particularly warm, which is great if you're actually exercising and out in the open. And yeah, we just had a really lovely time and um, had a walk. Mom, Mom made me run a bit. She'd done the couch to five k, and she's really like motivated to running now. And so she made me run for a bit of it, and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, we ran for like 30 seconds, I think, if that. And I was like, yeah, um, I need to do a little more before I can uh, do some proper running. So maybe I should try the couch to 5k. This is going to be too big. It's so pretty though. Yeah. Um, so yeah. 
first one was like, have you texted the right number? And I was like, yes, mum, I want to go for a walk with you. <laughs> she was like, okay. Um, but yeah, so um, hubby was on late, so I knew he wasn't leaving. Well, actually, I think he was on normal time, so I need we leaves around like ten to seven. So I went out. I was back by about twenty five to six, twenty five to seven. Got myself sorted out, like got myself ready, had a shower, whatever. Got myself ready, and then um, got the boys up, etc. And had everything that I needed, like food and stuff that I normally do in the morning. Like I can normally faff in the morning, to be honest. And I get up about about an hour to do an hour of faffing. Uh, which is my favourite thing to do, um, <laughs> and um, but didn't need it then, and was able to go for a walk with my mum and get some fresh air and feel really motivated for the day. I have not done it since, and I keep thinking about doing it because I know that you know if when you feel really tired and meh, then going for it, doing exercise is actually really really good. Um, I just yeah couldn't. <laughs> I haven't done it since, and I feel really bad. Um, like I should be doing something like that. Um, but this is a long day as well at work because, um, so I went off to work, did my teaching day. Thursday is always my busiest day. I, have, I don't think I get a period. I have like my 30 minute lunch, my 15 minute break, and then that's it. And then after school, it was an art, the art exhibition, which I kind of want to think, yeah. I'm going to use the clinking glasses. We didn't actually have any alcohol there. We had um, kind of lemonade with ice. But it's an art exhibition. You know, it was our year 13s and our year 12s exhibiting their artwork that they've been doing. And so it was really nice. And so, yeah, I'm going to crack up with that. Um, so the biology office where we go, like when we're not teaching and we have like desks and stuff, is actually shared with the art department. So biology and art together. We call ourselves artology. Um, and so... I obviously know the head of art and the other art teachers, Sam, really, really well. Um, so we kind of feel like we need to, you know, be kind of, be there for the moments like this. So go and do the art exhibition and, you know, they come along to our stuff. And uh, yeah, it was, and it's really nice to see what, you know, our kids who are doing biology are actually doing elsewhere in the school and getting a sense for how, what they're doing and how they're getting along and what sort of stuff they get up to really and so it's really nice I should have used the washi underneath there next time next time and um so yeah it was a really lovely evening got to see um my colleague who was pregnant she came back in with the baby um got to see her there was the first time her form had seen the baby and things and that was really lovely and um yeah it was just overall a very nice evening and then when I got back home because I didn't stay I didn't um I stayed for a good hour or so um but when I got home um I was able to edit and upload my planet uh, the, the movie I filmed <laughs> the um thing the I don't know what to call it the video I filmed there we go what do I do for upload? Because I've already used the laptop. Actually, I had it on my husband's computer. So, <laughs> you're all going to be screaming out which one I should use. The camera. Is it... Really? I need a planner, really. Is there a planner one? Does it better back there? Mm, yellow one, yellow. No, I'm not going to use that icon. Sorry, I'm going to use some more deco. Look at me using the deco. So good. <laughs> Not to blow my own trumpet or anything. Um, yeah. Oh, anyway. Edit. And upload. There we go. Friday. Whew, Friday was an insane day. So... My son is moving nurseries, so he um, is currently at one near my work, which obviously I feel more comfortable with because he's right there if there's any issue at all, which um, had happened once him, his tooth got knocked out. And oh, I mean, I was on my way over there anyway. It happened at like 4 p.m. So I'd finished school and I was just literally about to go and I got the call. And I was like, okay, I can't do any of the after school stuff that I'd normally do. I'm just going to go straight. And um, so, yeah. 
and so it's a real comfort for him to be there but um he's needs some full-time um care there now because my sister is going to um university and she's my childminder so we had him set had him apply and to the um un the um nursery at my son's school which kind of makes sense because well they're all going to be at school together and hopefully they'll get you know he'll get a place at that school it should do if he's got his brother there and so all these little buddies that he'll make friends in the nursery he's going to be his friends throughout school and so it'd be nice for him to get to know each other because my son didn't go to that nursery and so he, there was a lot of kids who already knew each other and were in like little cliques and then already I know at five but anyway um but I mean he's made some great friends actually and so it's not a too big of an issue but it'd just be nice if they were all there and it would make it easier for a childminder to drop both my kids off at the same place so this day we were having a home visit from the new nursery so I had to drop my son off at his current nursery do my one lesson then go pick up Matt, go pick up Matt take him home make sure that the home was fairly tidy um, and clean you know obviously they want to I don't know if they really go in when it's set in that, but you know, if they pick up on things that they're going to, they're going to keep that noted. Um, and then obviously have the home visit and then get back in time for, um, uh, my form this, in the afternoon. I was a bit late cause we didn't have any time to eat. And, um, so we had to pull into the drive through and yeah, but we got there in the end. We got there in the end. So <laughs> yeah, but it was all a bit crazy really so we'd like tidied and cleaned everything and then we had to go straight um to like yeah here there and everywhere like back and forth to school several times um but it was fine it was all good and um he did really well he got really got to know his his teachers and you know obviously i could give them information about matthew he's got something called pulled elbow so his elbows come out of his sock sockets because his ligaments are really loose and so that was really important that that got mentioned because obviously if they're trying to grab the kids or pull the kids or play with the kids then they need to be notified of that and that sort of stuff and all this kind of thing so yeah so we got had a good talk and it was actually someone that i know um from being a foster sister so my parents fostered when i was younger and so i actually know the nursery teacher from that experience and that so that was really lovely too and basically it was just a lovely day <laughs> all in all if a little stressful i got hurt i got back late to school so i had to ask my colleague i was like ringing it ringing her i was like please can you just go and sit with the p with my form because i'm not back yet and they were, i mean everyone was fine about it like it wasn't a big issue at all because you know my form is year 10 so they're kind of they're able to actually you know know what's going on and be sensitive to that so they're really good they're really good form actually um i enjoyed having them and then yeah so all that kind of happened then um yeah so i had the rest of my day we're doing um planning um i yeah so this is the final plan before our um, festival that we had and so I was doing loads of stuff for that and then when I got home we FaceTimed um, my um, my parent-in-laws <laughs> my mother and father-in-law and we had some FaceTime with them so we hadn't spent seen the uh, spoken to the kids for a while and so we FaceTimed and they got to see like um oh what would happen to Jack oh did they have no, the fact that they hadn't had haircuts, there we go. Um, and Jack had bashed his chin at school, and so he had all his chin was like all, I'm rubbing my chin that you can see. Um, all his chin was bashed up, and it was really sad. So, like, they saw that, and then, like, you know, the day to day kind of grind that builds up on over a day with two little boys. So, yeah, so it was really nice. We faced on them, and I do have a little face time icon, and I'm going to use a little phone. So we, it wasn't FaceTime, it was a WhatsApp video because I didn't have an iPhone, so yeah. So I'm just, is it bad that I still call it FaceTime even though we, hello, there we go. Even though it wasn't FaceTime, <laughs> I'm just going to call it a video chat then. Video chat with Jima and you dad. That was lovely actually. Really nice to see them and chat with them, see how things are going, all that jazz. 
so yeah and then um after that um i set up um my big project in my bullet journal it was the women's world cup spread to track all the matches and everything that were going on in the world cup and i have to say even if i did this on my foot it came out pretty good oh, i thought there's some yellow in this how cheesy the yellow got your head so yeah so i did some um playing in my book in my bullet journal oh there was a the sampler planning time I haven't used her anywhere else, but look at pink and pink. Oh no. And where should you use the girl? This <laughs> if I'll be playing with the stickers. I actually didn't do use any stickers. I just used um pencil crayons and a pen. So um yeah, this is my big event. <laughs> Set up my world cup world cup. There we go. Spelling error of the day. Spread. Oh, I did not leave enough space. Oh well. So sports. We do sports. Girls team. Some of these little purple. Yeah. It's all weird. And then the yellow got the header at the bottom there. And that's what we decided, wasn't it? And there we go. Bam. So. That's my note of Friday. We'll go down to the weekend then. Okay, so Saturday, um, we had a really kind of exciting day. So I had applied for um, a job on Tuesday. I found out on the Friday, Thursday, that I got an interview for the next week, and it was to be an NQT mentor at my school. So, um. We're going to have 10 NQTs next year. We've got, um, we're coming up to capacity of the school. And so we've got a lot of new staff that needed, not necessarily that loads of people have left, um, although quite a few people are leaving, but it's more that we needed new staff anyway, because there's more kids. And so they needed an NQT mentor to help support them. Now I've never applied for anything like this um, in a school before. So this is a testament to the school that I'm in that I felt confident to be able to do that. Um, and so um, I had to speak, I spoke to my aunt who is a PGCE, um, she teaches teaching at university um, and so she knew a lot about stuff about this and then I also spoke to, wanted to speak to her his, her son who has just finished his NQT year and his, his wife who is starting her NQT year um, and so I wanted to have a chat what are you doing this weekend and I was and they were like oh we're just going to the parents house we're just gonna have some brunch and uh do like park run and stuff like that and um yeah I was like oh okay uh we might crash your brunch and partying really and um <laughs> hopefully see, speak to you about this because my interview is like the next Tuesday so <laughs> we basically gate crashed um my aunt's brunch with her family <laughs> which she obviously she did not care at all she was like yeah that's fine that's great it'll be lovely to see you um because she's like that like quite her husband so we kind of went over and um yeah kind of spent some time with them um which is lovely and so that was saturday was a com crazy busy day i had lots of stuff, as you are going to find out so if we just keep going, I'm just going to line these up and then I'm going to use the weekend banner that came on the freebie, I think, with the yellow. Because, yeah, I kind of want to bring it in a bit more. So, I need to make sure it's all lined up. That washi strip is completely wonky. This is getting super thick now, this little insert. Oh gosh, this is super zoomed in for you, I'm sorry. That's better. Okay. They're still not lined up. Okay. Okay, in the middle. Oh, we're gonna... Good. Good. You're good. Okay. Why don't you go downstairs, baby? Okay, so I'm going to use this one here.
I'll do one. No. Yeah, I think I want that one there. I want to use that yellow one there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Saturday we um, got up early. We um, went to for brunch at my aunt's house, um, and we kind of hung out with them for a good while. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm going to use this. No, I don't know. So we're now running out of boxes, which is fine. It only came with six labels. I might have to use some builders and be creative. In fact, yeah, I actually know what I'm going to do. So this is brunch, um, really nice, like proper, like English breakfast style brunch. Um, we had some fruit as well and pancakes and all this kind of jazz. It was like a big, massive um, feast, basically. Um, ah, sorry. So brunch. There we go. And then I did my interviews. I might use the Bill Juice for the interview. Yeah, let's use some more glitter. Glitter header. And then I'm going to use the pink bilju. Um, I might use some glitter. I'll use this leafy one. And like snake it over. <laughs> Interview A A Beck and L. I didn't mean to write Beck with a K. Uh oh. There we go. Sorted. Um <laughs> So yeah, and then I had to go straight from there to the university um, to, um, not, not the university she works at, but my university, and go do the festival. So we had a festival this day that I was preparing for here and like in the previous weeks. Um, what was it? Yeah, every Friday. So yeah, we were preparing, preparing for this festival and um, it was good. It was kind of rainy. Um, it wasn't actually raining when we were there, um, but it was kind of damp. And But it was lovely. It was really good. The girls that I went with, so some of my form class and my year 10s that I kind of was working every weekend with, they were just fantastic and they kind of, they really showed some fabulous kind of personalities, quid like, things as well it was just really fantastic so I'm very proud of them and um, I need the, the heart oh, I kind of messed up Where did I put them? oh there it is I'm going to use the heart I think so it's the festival I need that glitter header because it's poignant um I oh, space down here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to do a glitter header, I think. Finish it off. Pink, green, yellow, purple. Pink! <laughs> and then after the green heart, after that, um, I did a massive binge of food from Marks and Spencer's, um, <laughs> which was delicious. And then I also, then I did some more filming. So I did some more filming that day. Oh gosh, what is wonky? I think it's my full box. I can see it against my lines. I don't think my lines were very good this week because I don't know. I was just. Ah! Completely creased up. No! Ah! Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Okay. 
It's a fine. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Um, can we... I don't know how well I'm in focus. It's not focusing. Well, the focus is like there. Oh, perfect. Okay. Um, and then I did some filming and that was all we did for the rest of the day, really. Um, oh, I kind of want to use another little do. Film tick. Um, there's a bit of cherry blossom. Does that work? Or a lemon? I might just use a lemon. There we go. <laughs> Film. Um, yeah, again, I need to keep better track of what I'm actually filming in these weeks so you can actually. I can actually talk about it. Um, so that was Saturday. Busy, but then nicer reacts in the kind of the evening. So yeah, in the Saturday, on the Sunday then, um, I had a lie-in. I was, you know, had a busy day. Just wanted to chill out a bit. So I had a lie-in, which is lovely. I'm just going to do that on some washing. Um... So, ooh, what's in there? There we go. So, I had a lion. Don't think there's a, no. It's going, still going well with the deco, so that's not, yeah, that's now. Is it sleeping? Then, um, I went to church. What I'm looking for. They've got their They're right there. Need to make some more pink. Oh, I didn't use a half box. That's because I had so many little things to do. I only used two here. Went to church, got McDonald's, and we watched Good Omens. So I'm just going to work from the bottom there. So, yeah. So we watched episode one on the following and the previous Sunday, sorry, and then this Sunday we finished it all. I think it's only six or seven episodes long, but they're like an hour. They're they're an actual hour long, and um, yeah. So let me just check. Bogus. Use a purple. Might have to use a purple. Use a purple. No header. Hmm. Okay. And then use the icon we ordered in a load of McDonald's. Oh yeah. And then use a coffee for church with some deco, I think. It's a bit, looks a bit small in that big half box. I might use. And then uh, nice lemons in the box. Whoa. Some noisy old things going on outside my window. I do apologise if you heard any of that ruckus. Well, this is a mobile going past. Just gonna do some layering. I mean it looks a bit weird because of the white outline. That's cute. So I went to church. And we talked about. I can't remember what we talked about. But yeah. McDonald's. And then we had a good omens binge. And I do have the TV, so I will use that. Oh, I was in the same place. Eh. Eh. What's it gonna do? Oh, no. Use the pink flower, I think. Like we got in our pajamas for the last episode because it is that late. <laughs> um, and so yeah, 
that was really good. I think my son's just screamed for me, but I can hold on for a moment. So then the sidebar, I'm just going to use this pattern piece of washi here. Um, right there. And then I'm going to use... I really want to use the one of these four boxes here with the lemons. Because I just think it's so pretty. And I hope that my line is straight. It should be. And then I'm going to use another glitter header. I think to break it up. And then that last half box, I think. A lot of half boxes <laughs> okay um i don't have any other boxes oh do i no oh it's right there uh no not really so yeah so there we have it um yeah i'll just Zoom back out again, we can see everything in all its glory. So there, so um, there we have um, my plan with me, so my memory spread for this week, the 3rd to the 9th of June. Um, I'm going to save this for like my special moment in the week. And um, so yeah, so here's what I've got left in my kit. Um, I didn't use the big massive um, double box or any of the checklists, but I will be using these in my setup for my bullet journals um, soon. And then, oh, actually, you would have seen me use those already. Um, it's all right. So I've got my glitter headers left over. I've got a skin, two skinny labels, two build drews, and two habit trackers. Again, I'll use those in my, you'll see me use those in the bullet journal. This green glitter box is actually a build drew, but it's really difficult to see that behind the glitter. So I might just use it as a kind of checkbox like I did here. Then I've got these four, four, four boxes which you'd have seen me use. Uh, the big strip of washi and then lots of cut washi strips. Um, some of these are like quarter box sizes that you saw me use. Load of deco, although not as much as I normally have left over. Loads of checklists, the Monday to Sundays, another weekend banner, some icons and these um, flags and teardrops that I don't, didn't use. And then loads of headers and little things, which again, I'll be using um, what you saw me use in my bullet journal setup. So this is how I use them, the rest of that kit, if you saw that video first. Um, if you haven't, I will link it in the description box below if I can work out how to link another video. I'm still working on that. Um, but if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, um, hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be uh, be first to watch them, then hit the little bell as well. Um, I hope you enjoyed um, this video and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.